Okay, today we are going to do um, a fun drawing um, inspired by the works of Frida Kahlo. Frida Kahlo is a Mexican artist who lived about a hundred years ago and um, she loved drawing portraits of herself and she also loved drawing portrait of uh, pictures of flowers. And so um, we're going to do some flowers inspired by um, the colorful flowers she, she did. And so um, I've started coloring this one in so you can see how brightly colored you can make things. Um, I haven't finished it because all of the flowers need to be colored. But we're gonna go through the steps on drawing the flowers. So, I've got my white paper. I've got something to draw with. And what we're gonna do first is in the very center, you're gonna put a bunch of little lines kind of in a circle. And this is the center of our flower. Then, oh, remember you can pause the video to do this as we're going through the work. Then we're going to make a wavy line. And another wavy line, and they can be waved in different ways. They don't have to mirror, but it looks like mine is. <laughs> That's weird, I was trying not to do that. Um, and it looks like no matter how hard I try, it's gonna be the similar um, a similar wavy line. Now this flower is done. We're going to go to the next one. And what we want to do is draw the flowers um, where they begin touching one another. Um, if you, uh, so we're going to start with this one, but the next one we're going to do may end up being bigger. Um, we're going to start with a circle. Then we're going to put some straight lines around it, just like if you were drawing a sun. Then we're gonna draw some circles around that. So it almost looks like a bunch of moons going around a sun. And these are kind of made up fantasy flowers um, that would just be fun and colorful. Then we're gonna do some petals all the way around. And since we're not touching, if you want, and it's your choice on how big you drew it, but if you want, we can come around and do one more petal shape around it. That way they're closer to touching. Okay, we're gonna move to a different spot. And this different flower is also gonna start with a circle in the middle, but it's gonna be smaller. We're gonna put some dots in the middle, kind of make them look at like a ladybug. We're gonna make another circle around it. And then this one's going to have some straight lines in it. And then from here, we are going to make some petals. And then we're gonna come around and do it again, but we're gonna start in the middle of a petal, like that, and go from middle to middle. And we're gonna do it again, from middle to middle. And you're gonna keep doing this until your flower looks big. I think I'm going to get one more row in. That way it's a little bit closer to that flower when, when we're done. One more great big one. 
So this is our next flower. The next one we're gonna do also starts with a circle in the middle. And these are gonna be, this one's like the sunflower or the daisy. We're gonna have some skinny petals coming around, all the way around. And it's okay if they're not perfect. Mine are kind of curvy today for some reason. Um, but we're gonna come back around and add some more petals in just a second. So once your flower has petals all the way around, we're gonna come into the middle and draw some more. And so these just kind of touch we don't have to draw very far because they're touching the first set of petals. And it's easier for me to do this if I turn my paper. It's an easy trick to get your work where you need it to so you're not like trying to draw upside down. I'm gonna come around and do one more in between them. I had a speaker on. I didn't even realize it. Did y'all hear that? <laughs> All right. So now that one is pretty well done. We could keep going and going and going if we wanted to. Maybe I might not put a couple more just to make it even. Or that one. I think that one's the one I was missing. And so the last flower we're gonna do is kind of a weird one. Um, it starts out with dots in the middle like this one. And then we put kind of another little blob, but this is gonna be a wavier blob. Okay. Then we're gonna draw this is a really funny shape. To me, it looks kind of like cheeks and a nose if you're looking at someone's face. So this would be the cheek, the nose, and the cheek. And we're gonna go all the way around making this weird shape. And it's okay if they're not exact. Mine are not exact. I got room for a small one. Boop, there we go. Now we're gonna do the same thing, but, and, and it's gonna be just kinda like this one. We're gonna put them in the middle, but we're gonna make it bigger. And when this row comes around, it starts looking like a flower. I'm just adding a couple more right here. Oop, it's going behind that flower. That's okay. Just to make it interesting. Let's see, one more. Now, we can go from this point and come around, and where we have some blank spaces, we can draw in some leaves coming from our um, flowers. Maybe one more, we'll put some three leaves here. And then wherever else you think you need to put them, you don't have to put them where I'm putting them. Maybe a ruffly leaf. And then maybe a chubby leaf. Okay. And 
I'm just putting different things. So now my paper is more filled in and then you are going to start coloring things in. I used markers because I wanted to put something big and bright. If you have markers, you can use markers. If you have color pencils, use color pencils. Um, and if you have watercolors and you wanna watercolor this, you can do that too. You choose how to color them in. Um, just color the flowers really bright. You can leave the background white, but we want bright, happy colors. Then take a picture of your work and send it to me. See you soon.